And I'm telling you, this is so important because when you get these blood tests, your doctor's going to say, oh, it looks like you have cancer or something. My blood cells count look so low. And you say, no, well, you're the one who has cancer. I don't need the bone marrow biopsy. You're the one that needs the bone marrow biopsy because my white blood cell count low is good, not bad. Dr. Furman told me that. But he's the only guy in the world that knows that, but it's okay. Will you summarize for us what kinds of testing you would recommend routinely for people who don't have any particular issues to ensure that they're getting optimal nutrient uh, qualities in their diet? Okay, but I, I don't, I'm not sure because it, it would be somewhat individualized. So let me say that um, I have maybe thinking maybe a blood test every five years might be appropriate and that because some people could develop with aging intrinsic factor deficiencies that can increase their need for B12. So maybe taking a B12 with a homocysteine every five years because the B12 can be in the normal range of low to normal and still could be not be enough for this person. So maybe the homocysteine starts to rise. So maybe a B12 with a homocysteine or an MMA, methylmalonic acid is the other aspect of the blood that rises when you have B12 deficiency. Maybe check that your B once, uh, once every five years. Maybe check your vitamin D once every five years. But I checked mine and mine was okay taking the level of the supplement I was taking. So I don't think it's going to change much in five years. So I'm not going to probably check it again. Maybe for, you know, I don't know. And then the omega-3 index, I would do that probably once every 10 years or once every five or 10 years just to see if the amount of DHA you're taking is adequate. So your omega-3 index is above, at least above five. I think it would be a good idea for most people, especially women, to check a ferritin as they age to make sure they're, they're not becoming iron deficient. But most things like that most other people are checking, liver function, cholesterol, electrolytes, you know, kidney function. We're not really worried about those things, you know, so I don't need to check those. I had it checked when I had a blood test for an insurance policy, maybe about five or 10 years ago. And I would never check it again unless I needed some blood tests for an insurance policy. I'm not really advocating people do a lot of medical tests and medical interventions. Um, I don't think it's really necessary when you're eating so carefully especially when you're following my supplemental recommendations that are so targeted and so conservative. I'm not giving people radical amounts of stuff that are going to push this stuff too high or too extremely low. But I think checking the vitamin D, the omega-3 index, the ferritin, maybe getting a CBC, that question reminds me of something very important I have to tell you. And that is when you follow this way of eating, your white blood cell count drops out of the normal range and gets low. And that's because in scientific studies, it shows people with the lowest white blood cell counts live the longest because we don't need to produce white blood cells when there's no inflammation in the body. In other words, the battery in the flashlight keeps its charge really well if you keep the flashlight turned off and put it away in the closet. Because when you take it out, when you need it in an emergency, it's going to light up. So we don't have to keep white blood cells you know, circulating at high levels all the time. They're not being used, but then they're, they're, they're in their storage sites. And but then when you get the need for them, they haven't been used much, so they can really flourish and, and, and be there when you need them. And I'm telling you, this is so important because when you get these blood tests, your doctor's going to say, oh, it looks like you have cancer or something. Your white blood cells count look so low. And you say, no, well, you're the one who has cancer. I don't need the bone marrow biopsy. You're the one that needs the bone marrow biopsy because my white blood cell count low is good, not bad. Dr. Furman told me that. But he's the only guy in the world that knows that, but it's okay. But there are studies that show that low white blood cell counts are linked to longer life and low, but the point is there are some normal, there are some things that are normal for a nutritarian that could come up abnormal on your blood test, and that's the main one. Your platelets will be a little lower, could be around, you know, could be a little under the normal range, slightly under the normal range. Blood's not as sticky and your white blood cell counts are definitely lower. The normal white blood cell count is between five and 10, and our white blood cell counts could be between two and six. You follow me?